The Old City Speaks, a new museum of Armenian history. It is the Edward and Helen Mardigian Armenian Museum. It opened late last year, found in a former pilgrim guest house from the 1850s. It holds a collection of millennia-old artifacts. This Armenian museum is just like a passport for the visitors who come here and see what it is about because it shows Armenians before even the genocide because people only think about the genocide and Armenians. No, we existed even be much before. Jerusalem welcomes millions from around the world each year. The Armenian legacy is connected to Jerusalem's, both facing challenges and enduring. The meaning of Armenians staying in this city is that uh, just like Jerusalem had been conquered from a lot of people a lot of years ago and also still uh, suffering and thriving, doesn't have to be uh, who or what or when, but it's still going, going and on. Same thing with the Armenians. They had a lot of problems and troubles a long time ago and still are doing that, but both have the same uh, destiny which is they will never give up and they will survive. The building where the museum is located was a safe house during World War I, a time when many were fleeing what they said was genocide at the hands of the Ottomans. The ones who made it are having their stories told. Surviving is its meaning not to be seen. Nobody heard, nobody knows. Yeah, you heard about the Armenians. You don't know who are the Armenians. And that's the, that's the beauty in it. We survive without people knowing what or who we are. And today we feel ready to show you and to teach you about the history, about the heritage, about the culture, and to show you how we advance and survive and modernize with the time. Around 1.5 million were killed by the Turks. Today, efforts are being made to protect the culture that almost disappeared. It's for us, it's for our safety and preserving the language, which is about 2,000 years, the heritage, which is about 2,000 years. It's about the history, eventually, and preserving it. Because if you see news a bit, we're still prosecuted until today, unfortunately. And this is one of the small landmarks we have. Like most Israelis, Armenians have ancient roots in Jerusalem, a narrative of survival now spelled out for everyone to see.